Hi, I'm Riley Hannigan from Indiana. I've always dreamed of riding horses in the mountains and through rushing rivers. This is the story of how my dream came true. I even got to share my dream come true with my whole family. That was really special. Here's how it happened. Mom told me about the Children's International Arts Festival at kidstalkaboutgod.org. I really didn't think I could win, but I decided to enter anyway because they were giving away Dude Ranch vacations. After I sent in my artwork, I waited and checked the website all the time. But after a while, I figured it was over. But I still thought about it a lot. When I finally found out I had actually won, I thought I was going to faint. I could hardly talk. Only little squeaky noises would come out. I was so excited, I wanted to start packing right away. But before I could live my dream of riding in the mountains, I had to climb a different kind of mountain. I had been sick for a while, and I couldn't seem to get well. We just had no idea what was wrong. She'd been sick for several months and was fatigued and tired, and she could hardly get up and you know, run around the house and not have to come inside and lay down. And six, eight weeks ago, we thought maybe we would have to cancel or postpone. And... But lots of people were praying for me. God answered by giving my dad wisdom to figure out that I was gluten intolerant. So mom worked out a special wheat-free diet for me, and guess what? I was totally well and time for the trip to Medicine Bow Lodge. Tim and Debbie Bishop, the owners of Medicine Bow Lodge, greeted us and gave us lunch as soon as we arrived. They took us on a tour of the lodge and showed us our cabin. The ranch is so much better than I imagined. How cozy and friendly it is here. I love it. All the staff and owners feel like family. The next morning, we finally got to meet our horses. The Wranglers at Medicine Bow Lodge are careful to match each rider with a horse that fits their ability and personality. My horse for the week was Rain Dance. He's a paint horse, and that's my favorite breed. Eva rode Pringles, a white gray horse. Isaac rode a bay horse named Hector. A chestnut horse named Mason was Mom's ride. And Dad had a huge white horse named Rock. Then we were off on our first ride. Almost the first thing we did was walk through a mountain stream. My dream! As if that wasn't enough, our wrangler took me on my own personal trotting and loping session. I love riding fast. That's one of the cool things about a smaller ranch like Medicine Bow. They can be much more flexible with their riding program. We tell them when they walk in the door, we want you to feel at home. And that's what we want. We want it to be very low key and not to be um, that, that we are just so structured with our schedule. So yeah. that they can go, if they want to go fishing, hiking together, mm. or go to Saratoga, go play in the creek, you mm. know? catch worms to go fishing. <laughs> Take a sunset ride. There are plenty of things to do here other than riding horses. So in between trail rides, we squeeze in some horseshoes, lasso practice, pottery, rope swinging, um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Oh yes, meal times. The food is so delicious here. My favorite meal was the dinner when we had barbecued ribs and fried yams. Yummy and yammy. Debbie and the kitchen staff were extra helpful to make sure that there were enough gluten-free foods on the menu and that I knew which things to avoid. She was so great, said don't worry about a thing, we'll figure it out together. And that meant so much to me. They were so cheerful about helping me, that made me feel even more relaxed and comfortable. Speaking of relaxed and comfortable, Eva and Isaac love to trot, but I think they took longer to get used to the lope. Mom, Dad, and I like loping better than trotting because it's smoother. Boy, were we flying down those trails! Sometimes we rode more slowly, but that didn't bother me too much because then we had time to look at all the beautiful scenery we were riding through. This area is just covered with pine and aspen forests,
Meadows of bright wildflowers. Brushy mountain streams. Lush green grass. Purple mountain ranges. And colorful sunsets. It's very different than the traditional Rocky Mountains, which are straight up and down. These go straight up, then they flatten out to plateaus. We have a lot of plateaus in the area. There's a lot of water. Uh, makes everything real green and pretty. My favorite day of the whole trip was day two. Well, Mitchell taught all of us how to try and loaf, and then later that evening we went on the sunset ride, and that was the same day we had barbecue ribs, so. <laughs> it was, it was a good perfect. Day. It yeah, was perfect my day. Favorite. Tom, uh, Riley's dad, probably has enjoyed it as much as anybody getting to spend that time with his kids. Uh, he, he's enjoyed the horseback riding, and that's been a thrill to me to see how the whole family has enjoyed this. I think I enjoyed it most of all. Not only because I won the trip, and because I love riding horses in the mountains, and because I love barbecued ribs. But after being sick for so long, I had extra appreciation for how good it felt to be healthy and get to come here and do so much riding. When Riley was going through all this, I knew that we should have peace and we should have rest because that's what scripture tells us, despite circumstances, but I wasn't experiencing that. But God has really been working and showing me that rest is totally outside of circumstances, totally found in the Lord. And it doesn't matter what's going on around us. You can have that place inside that's full of peace and rest. You can learn everything about life by studying the Bible, but God gives you experiences to help you remember what you learned. I'll never forget my Medicine Bow Lodge experience. The last day came too quickly. Our final trail ride was wonderful. But then we had to say goodbye to our horses. I'm going to miss Rain Dance so much. He and I had a really fun week together and became great friends. Too bad I can't send him emails or text messages. I sure hope we get to come to Medicine Bow Lodge again. How did we get to do all of this just from a piece of artwork? Here's how. Go to kidstalkaboutgod.org and click on the horses. You could find out all about the Children's International Arts Festival there. They are giving away Dude Ranch family vacations. This is crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's for real. I want a dream vacation for my family, and so can you. Growing up, couldn't stop thinking of Bigger place out there to call my own So I did my best to get away I've got a wish I could go home To those tall mountain peaks Standing high above the prairie Sagebrush and trees living